I generally work with abstract animation with um, exploring ideas around movement and um, shape and mm -hmm. color and the uh, relationship between sound and image in uh, yeah, sound and moving image. So one way to create this kind of meaning or dialogue uh, through with abstract work is to is to work with sound that is not so abstract. Oh, so for yeah. example in in a piece like Stop the Show where it's you know you could look at it as just some like beautiful patterns on the screen but uh, you can also look at it as the uh, patterns that are derived from the colors and shapes of the flags yeah, of the different sure countries flag. that are involved in the global arms trade and then the soundtrack is a soundtrack of, uh, of war artillery uh, fire mm -hmm. and tanks and so on so the combination of the mm -hmm. two then starts to tell a, a story you know sometimes these kinds of narratives or mm -hmm. stories are kind of maybe a little bit open-ended or open mm -hmm. to interpretation they are decoding the work mm -hmm. image is that it it creates that space like it, it opens up a space for the audience to maybe find their own meanings but also it creates a space where it's not so fixed mm -hmm. and and yeah. by keeping it uh, more open I think it it creates something like a thinking space so you mm -hmm. can think about what's presented in a more open way rather than being force-fed a specific uh, meaning and music and sound is all about you know, you know, structuring dynamic development over time, and that's very important when you work with abstract image. Mm -hmm. uh, working in a public context, of course, changes the maybe what you can do. It changes how it's perceived. I I, I like uh, uh, displaying work in different formats or in different media. I put most of my work online. Mm -hmm. I uh, I show a lot in film festivals, in media art festivals, mm -hmm. animation festivals, also in galleries. And you know, at each time, it's a it can be very different audience. Mm -hmm. You know, if you have the same piece in a gallery, it'll it'll be looked at with different eyes to if someone sees it on Vimeo, mm -hmm. or if it's in a festival again, it's you know, it's always mm -hmm. puts it in different contexts, but. Um, I quite like negotiating or navigating these different spaces. I I don't uh, I don't really make work for a specific audience. I make the work I want to make. But I think with abs more abstract work, I, yeah, I don't really. I don't know, probably there isn't an audience, you know, so I don't want to think about uh -huh. that too much. Yeah, and okay, that, that's the end of our interview. Thank you so much. Thank you.